Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. In case you're new to The Morning Mindset, let me just take a little moment to tell you about what this is. My name, first of all, is Kerry Green. I am a guy who served as a pastor in local churches for 20 so or so years, and I'm now kind of doing some online business things, but I still have this deep desire for us as believers in Jesus Christ to live in a way that gives God great glory in the world. That means that it makes him look good to other people and that pleases him, that brings joy to his heart. And this morning mindset is my attempt at helping myself and you get our minds aligned with the truth of God. You can find out more about the morning mindset at my website, carrygreen.com slash mm. That's C-A-R-E-Y green, just like the color, dot com slash mm. You'll find out everything you need to know about the morning mindset right there. We are looking at Romans chapter 12. We're moving into verse number 13 today, Romans 12, 13. And the Apostle Paul says, contribute to the needs of the saints. This is what believers are to do. It's one of the many things we are to do in life. We are to contribute to the needs of the saints. Now, in some of the circles in which I run, a lot of online communities and, and online business type stuff, you hear people talking a lot about making your contribution to the world. So it's the idea that all of us have something to offer. All of us have something that we are uniquely designed to do. And this word contribute is used often in that context. But contribute also is a a word that has to do with giving. And I believe that's the context the Apostle Paul is talking about here. He says, when he says contribute to the needs of the saints, he's talking about physical needs, very real circumstances that we can do things to affect in a positive way. When you contribute to a need, it doesn't mean you are adding to the burden that that need causes, though I guess you could construe the words to mean that. But obviously, the Apostle Paul is teaching us what to do as a representative of Jesus Christ in this world. We are to contribute to the needs of the saints in a way that helps them. Now, who is them? Who are these saints that he's talking about? Well, this isn't what you may have grown up learning about, like St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Timothy, you know, all these different saints that you hear about in various sects. That's not what the Apostle Paul is talking about. The word saints in the New Testament is a word that he uses interchangeably with a word we use quite often, and that is the word Christian. So he's saying we as believers in Christ are responsible to help each other, other believers in Christ, with each other's needs. So think that through for a moment. The possessions that we have are to be used to help with the needs of others within the body of Christ. So if you have a car and someone needs to use a car or needs someone to pick them up, it is your responsibility to share that car in a way that can contribute to that need they have. Now, it may not also be a sense in which you have to be the one to drop everything you're doing and go give that person a ride if they need it. But maybe you have connections with others. You can help them find a ride. Now, let's pause for a minute and put this into context. I'm not saying every believer in Christ is obligated to drop everything and do for other believers in Christ the moment a need arises. I think the Apostle Paul is talking here about an attitude. We are to be willing. We are to be ready. We are to be on call to meet the needs of other believers as they come up. These are physical needs that he's talking about. And I think it's quite interesting that he says we're to contribute to the needs of the saints, the believers in Christ. He's not talking about the world in general, like just someone starving over in Africa, though that is a very good thing to do. He's talking about within the family of God. We are to take care of each other, just like a sibling, a brother, and sister relationship. You would take care of each other. You would do what you can to benefit the other. That is our role and our responsibility. So who is around you today who's a part of the family of God that you can contribute to their needs? Join me again tomorrow. Tomorrow.